Matthew, uh, instruct me to do this. Good game. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, <laughs> of course, you are pretty much uh, whoever knows me knows standing here in front of many groups, especially to bear my deepest and most feelings in my heart. It doesn't happen every day, but today is a day that no parent can walk away. I'll say how loud, how proud we are. With reminding all who can hear that the most beautiful woman at the party is my daughter. Without acknowledging to myself that when I thought it was not possible to love you, I do. And although I must turn over the reins, protect her, injury kiss her, and the best guy to go shopping with to <laughs> I do so with many, woof, sorry. It's all right, Pete. With many comments and some hesitations. And this is where you come in, Matthew. When we met you some six years ago, you were a bit of a shy boy who was clearly smitten with my daughter. He's okay, I thought to myself. I mean, he's polite enough and well-groomed, suppose. <laughs> But don't dig your heels in just yet, my boy. I thought you have a long road to be my daughter's one and only. Debbie and I asked, where are you from, Matthew? Wichita, you said. Oy vey, Wichita. <laughs> You've got to be <laughs> Did you know that he was from Wichita? <laughs> well, of course she knew. In fact, she knew that pretty much Everything else there was to know about this guy. Van, she said. Debbie and I, Debbie, I said, did Haplin say that Matthew was in a band? Oh, my goodness. I was beginning to think that it was Haplin I needed to get to know. And then one day, before long, Matthew announced to Debbie that he knew that he was in love with Haplin. Wow, this guy moved fast. How could he know that... He was in love with her so quickly. Debbie told Matthew that there was no need to rush, and he replied to her that he would one day convince us that it was, that it was true. Well, time moved along, and Matthew became quite a staple in our home. And then one day, Abby spoke the four dreadful words. Oh, no. I'm moving to Wichita. Oh, no. <laughs> I can tell you, I registered a 9.5 Richter scale on the Richter scale. The tears Debbie cried could fill a small ocean. I bet. But still in February of that year, the truck pulling the trailer <laughs> full of Hattie's possessions pulled away from the front door and taking our sweet little Havel. And then the airline tickets to Wichita. Love you, Terry. Began, began to pull out. Not only did Havlin move there a little after time, it seemed that Debbie was there too. I don't know, Matthew. So far, you're not making too many points. <laughs> well, two years passed before we heard the words we're coming home, bringing through the house, and all, and all is right in the world again, at least for our perspective. When you did return, I saw two very different people from those who had left two years before. Matthew and Heaven became, came back with a deep, caring, mature, and very strong relationship between you. There were two years working together in time to their own hearts, I tried to believe that I could no longer put a finger on the question I once had. I can tell you that these two had created a life together, a rhythm amended of minute details that only they could identify. They were a couple, clearly a couple, and so came my confidence. So now I want to say, Matthew, you won.
<laughs> I believe you. More important, I believe in you. Mazel tov. God bless you both. I want to welcome the Olnix man and Jenny's family, and I hope that they will all share the happy and healthy lives together. I also want to thank Joel and Judy for allowing us into their homes and to bring a hundred of our nearest and dearest along. Your generosity has been overwhelming and there is really nothing that we can do or say that would adequately represent the gratitude that we feel of all of that. Last, Debbie and I want to thank all of you for coming and sharing this wonderful event in our lives. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Thank you. happy life they are sure to live for the rest of their days and uh, I guess that's about all I can come up with at this point in time so cool. Say